This is the video lecture for the concept of speed lesson plan. It was created and narrated by Sean Krupa and uses original material from Ebenezer Aluma. This video and accompanying lesson plan are part of Ohio University's Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom project, funded by the National Science Foundation. In this video lecture, we'll cover the definition of speed, its units, and unit conversion. Finally, we'll look at some applications for the measurement of speed. To go any further, we need a definition for speed. What's your definition? Take a few minutes and come up with your own answer and pause this video. Discuss amongst the class. When you're ready to continue, you can resume this video. You should have all agreed that speed is the measurement of an object's motion. Formally, speed is defined as distance divided by time and has units of distance over time. It's also important to solve for distance, which is speed multiplied by time, and time, which is distance divided by speed. You should make yourself familiar with these equations. Remember your units. Now let's talk about instantaneous versus average speed. Instantaneous speed is the current rate of distance being traveled per unit time, while the average speed is the total distance traveled per total time. You can think of this like a car ride. If you're traveling from point A to point B, and at any point you happen to look down at your speedometer, you'd be looking at your instantaneous speed. This is your speed at that instant of time. However, once you get to your destination, if you took the total distance and divided it by the total time it took you to get there, you'd have your average speed. Let's do some unit conversion. We're going to convert 100 miles per hour to feet per second. In order to do this, we need to multiply by two conversion factors, one that converts miles into feet and another that converts hours into seconds. Here's how we choose them. We'll take 100 miles per hour and multiply by the first conversion factor, 5,280 feet per one mile. What this does is place miles in both the numerator and denominator, and therefore they cancel. We're only left with feet in the numerator. The last conversion factor we need, 1 hour per 3600 seconds, achieves the same thing. It places hours in both the numerator and denominator and leaves seconds in the denominator. Hours cancel and we're left with only seconds in the denominator and feet in the numerator. We get an answer of 146.67 feet per second. Now let's work the other direction. We use the same conversion factors, but we need their inverse because we want to convert feet into miles and seconds into hours. Multiplying 50 feet per second by one mile per 5,280 feet, multiplying again by 3,600 seconds per hour, puts feet and seconds in both the numerator and denominator, and we're only left with miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator. We get an answer of 34.09 miles per hour. Now let's talk about some uses of speed measurement. It's taking the distance you have left to travel and dividing it by your speed to calculate how much time it's going to take you to reach your destination. Another more obvious use of speed measurement are the speed traps used by police to catch speeders. In summary, speed is a measurement of an object's motion. We introduced instantaneous and average speed. We then covered unit conversion. And finally, we looked at calculations of speed common in everyday technology. This concludes the video lecture for the speed lesson plan. Thanks for your attention.